Hi everyone, my name is Alex and I'm the founder and managing director at AR Lee Consulting. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how to articulate career goals and why MBA questions. But before I do so, let me just briefly introduce myself. Before setting up AR Lee Consulting, I was executive director and head of HR at Samsung Electronics Mexico, one of Samsung's biggest subsidiaries worldwide. I'm an INSEAD MBA graduate and an admissions interviewer for the school. I hold undergraduate degrees in engineering and business and a master's degree in telecommunications. I was born and raised in Barcelona, but I've been moving around quite frequently, with additional experiences in US, Peru, France, Singapore, Cambodia, Mexico, and South Korea. Now that you know a little bit more about me, let's talk about how to articulate career goals and why MBA questions. Before starting the application process, it is quite common for applicants to not have clear career goals and therefore no clear need for an MBA. Some people say, I don't have any career goal in mind, I just know I want an MBA. Well, an MBA is not a little treat, it must be something you really need. Some other people say, I want to be management consultant because I heard you get to work in really cool projects with really smart people. Hmm, that's true, but is that a compelling reason to be accepted to a top MBA school? And some other people say, I would like to work either in private equity, investment banking, management consulting, or as a product manager for a tech giant. These look like quite different goals to me. This indicates that career goals are not that clear. Please bear in mind that being able to articulate clear career goals and the need for an MBA is key in your admissions process. You could have a great professional career with big names on your resume, have a stellar GPA and GMAT scores, but if you don't have clear career goals or a need for an MBA, most likely you're going to get rejected from your targeted schools. I have personally rejected applicants during the interview process precisely because they were not able to defend their career goals or need for an MBA. So please do not underestimate the importance of it. But what makes a compelling career goal? Ideal career goals are concrete and specific, motivated by something else other than money, power, and success, connected to your MBA story and need for an MBA, and realistic and achievable. Now let's look at how to frame the career goals and why MBA questions. There are actually many ways to do so, but we recommend to structure the essays in the following way. Start by introducing your motivation for your long-term goal. For example, I grew up in Peru where the gap between social classes is huge. The poor are very poor and the rich are extremely rich. There is practically no middle class. Then state your long-term goal to tackle the issue. For example, Therefore, my long-term goal is creating a consulting firm in Peru that will support regional governments in spreading economic prosperity throughout the country. I will contribute this way to reducing the gap between social classes. Next, state your immediate post-MBA goal that will be the bridge to your long-term goal. For example, in order to achieve this goal, my immediate post-MBA goal is to work for a major global management consulting firm, such as McKinsey where I will learn best practices that I will later apply in my own consulting firm. Notice how the story flows smoothly and everything is perfectly connected. The next step in order to complete your story is addressing the need for an MBA. Using the same example as before, you could connect your current skills and goals with the need for an MBA as follows. Throughout my career, I have developed X, Y, and Z skills. All these skills are essential to succeed as management consultant and as entrepreneur. However, I lack A, B, and C skills, and these skills are precisely the ones that only an MBA can help me develop. Here, please make sure your career goals require an MBA or can be achieved significantly faster with an MBA. Finally, some applications ask why this particular school, and not any other, can help you achieve your goals. In this case, you could frame the answer in the following way. School X offers unique opportunities to develop the skills that are essential for me to meet my career goals. First of all, it has a strong focus on consulting, as shown in the employment report with X% percent of the students joining a major consulting firm. Additionally, its flexible program will allow me to tailor a curriculum specialized in entrepreneurship and strategy, with electives such as A, B, and C, and so on. Here, it is important that you study well the school and avoid including simply publicly accessible information. This is your chance to show that you know the school well. If possible, visit the campus and talk to current students and alumni. Articulating career goals and why MBA questions is also important during the interviews, so I'm going to give you a few quick tips. 
First of all, study carefully your application and stick to the same stories and motivations. Changing answers to career goals and why MBA during the interview is a huge red flag. Then, if asked about other MBA programs, avoid mentioning other schools and reinforce your choice for the one you're interviewing for. You could say something like, my top priority is a school X because A, B, and C. However, I'm aware of the competitiveness of the admissions process, so I might consider applying to other schools just in case, and just leave it like that. Finally, stress your need for an MBA, even if pushed to tell an alternative option, just like in the following example. If the interviewer asks, what if you don't get into any MBA? Don't say something like, I will then rethink about my career goals and will try to find another passion. This would almost for certain disqualify you. As a matter of fact, I have rejected several candidates who answered in a similar way. Instead, you might want to say something like, I will then try to strengthen my profile and reapply next year, since my career goals are very clear and I do need an MBA to reach them. I hope you have now a more clear idea of how to articulate career goals and why MBA questions. In case you need some extra help, at AR Lee Consulting, we can help you come up with career goals that match your motivations, skills, and that, as we mentioned before, are concrete and specific, motivated by something else other than money, power, and success, connected to your story and need for an MBA, and realistic and achievable. And of course, they will be included in your application as part of your MBA story. Career coaching is actually one of our core strengths due to my high-level HR background. We wish you the best of luck in your applications. Visit our website and contact us for a free evaluation and detailed discussion about your future.